What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here. Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. You can head to the link in my description below and sign up for my newsletter. And you will get a free novel, a free novella, and a free graphic novel. So a lot of stuff from me. And you can join the cultural revolution by reading good culture and not the culture that the mainstream media wants you to consume. All right. I screwed up with my newsletter again this morning. I do this about once a month where I forget that I've got it set to send a newsletter on Friday. So I forgot, I forget to change the message of the newsletter. I'm just not a good professional at this sort of thing sometimes. Oh, well, uh, people can get upset if they want. <laughs> All right. I was going to talk about Mira Furlan, uh, who is the actress who played Delenn. And I'm going to make a separate video about her because I think she deserves uh, recognition. She's not really a household name, and so uh, she passed away yesterday also, and uh, people are really not going to uh, make a trending hashtag on Twitter about her or anything like that. So I find that a crying shame. I made the blog about her this morning already, so you can head over there and look at that, uh, but I'm going to make a video also just because I uh, really appreciated her and her acting abilities. So... All right. But yes, Hank Aaron also has passed. Uh, he is uh, one of the greatest baseball players of all time. He just crushed home runs uh, without steroids prior to the steroid era, which kind of destroyed baseball. He was uh, the home run king and will forever probably be remembered as such. Uh, he was just an amazing baseball player and athlete. But what gripped me about the AP story this morning, which came out today, was, of course, their headline, because they can't just talk about uh, Hank Aaron. Uh, and his home run career record. Of course, they, they, they lead in a second tweet. Hang, Hammer and Hank set many career records in a 23-year span, mostly with Milwaukee and Atlanta Braves, including RBIs, extra base hits, and total bases. He, uh, The Hall of Famer will be remembered for one swing above all others, and there's a very famous swing in baseball right here. I, I know a lot of you are probably not big baseball guys like I am, but if you followed the channel uh, for a while, you, you do know that I'm a huge, huge baseball fan. Uh, I do have Hank Aaron's autograph, which... Uh, makes me happy. Um, I'm a big, big into it. Um, I first saw Hank Aaron because I'm a little younger on a replay of uh, a home run derby he was involved in. They used to run this whole channel called or this whole event called Home Run Derby all the time uh, back when baseball was kind of at its peak. And it was him versus somebody else. And you, and you just got to watch him crush home runs over and over and over again. I found that very exciting to watch as a kid. So that's my limited experience with him. But I, I acknowledge greatness when I see it, and I'm really happy that uh, he uh, is acknowledged by a lot of people. Now, the way that he's acknowledged by the Associated Press is what made me write a, make a video about this. They can't talk about his accomplishments as a person, as a human being. They can't talk about him as uh, just somebody who's a, a wonderful philanthropist. They can't talk about someone who is someone in the public eye who really has you know just been a great person. They have one mode and one mode only because what happens is an editor probably has no idea who Hank Aaron is with the Associated Press. They're they're really not up on baseball. They're probably not paying much attention. They saw a photo and they went, oh, my gosh, this guy's black. And that's the first thing that these a-holes in the media see every single time. So because of that, they have to color everything he does through that. Now, Hank Aaron was not in the Jackie Robinson era. It was not unusual to have black athletes at this point in baseball. Uh, he did very well for himself. He was very, very high regard, highly regarded in baseball. He was uh, hailed during his tenure in baseball. It wasn't an after the fact where we're looking back and, and giving him some participation trophy because of, quote, racism. He actually was the greatest, and everybody recognized that at the time. So it's a nonsense headline to put this in here. It's insulting, uh, both to Hank Aaron and to black people, that every time any black person gets mentioned in the media, they have to they have to preface it with racism. They have to they have to throw the racist word in there in order to diminish their accomplishments is really what it does at the end of the day. So I find it sick uh, and I find it sick that when a man dies and, and has such an incredible life story as Hank Aaron, that you have to throw this in there as the headline to try to try to grab uh, the crazies on the Internet who just want to uh, shriek about, you know, this this phony racism thing that they, they claim is everywhere. It's so sickening. Um, and it's not right. It's not right to Hank Aaron. It's not right to black men in general. It's not right to anybody um, because, you know, people should just be treated 
for their accomplishments. Uh, and as we have just passed Martin Luther King Day, people should not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. That quote endures because it should be the case. Unfortunately, uh, that's not the case. The Associated Press, where all they see is color. Very sad. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, I'll be back later today with a Mira Furlan talk because, again, I, I do want to recognize her. Uh, sad that Hank Aaron passed and definitely look into his death because there's another part of the story that's not getting talked about here in that he received the COVID vaccine very publicly a little over a week ago. And uh, this seems to be related. Nobody will be reporting on that. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Hit that like and subscribe button. See ya.